Hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtrick channel. My name is Nehema. Uh, Renda guys, I'm very very much uh, happy to have you on board. So today we are going to talk about the Python date time. Uh, but before we start, I want to make uh, this simple request. Uh, please, if it's your first time to get into this channel, uh, please take a second, subscribe, like and share this video to uh, your friends. And uh, to the returning subscribers, I really appreciate you very very much for your support. But then you can like this video, uh, you can share to your friends, you can as well join this channel membership so that you may have access to the exclusive packs, including including the um, you know premium packages like uh, the pre-activated uh, you know softwares. You'll have access to source codes, both front end and uh, the back end. Just once you join this channel membership through the join button below. But then uh, today we are going to talk about the Python date, date time. So first of all, let's understand. And uh, basically, uh, let's talk about these uh, Python dates. Now, uh, a, date, a date in Python is not a data type uh, of its own, but uh, we can import a module named a date time to work with the uh, dates, uh, you know, as a date object. Remember, we discussed in the previous class about these uh, Pyth Python modules, and I talked about the, you know, building uh, modules in Python. But then uh, today it is, Python dates. Uh, remember, I want us to have here an example, like uh, to import the date time module and uh, display the current date. Now, first of all, let me try to zoom in for you to uh, see better. And then, uh, guys, I said that there is a build in uh, module in Python, so I'm gonna say I uh, import date time. Date time. Now, in this next uh, second line of code, I'm gonna create this uh, variable, and then I'm gonna assign it to uh, date time date time dot and uh, date time and then uh, for now the current time we use the uh, the now uh, you know method here the the uh, the now what the now um you know object so now let me say now and then it's gonna display the current uh, date time and then uh, now to uh, the function to execute uh, to execute this code you remember the uh, the, uh, the function is print Actually, the print function is the, is the function to execute these codes in the terminal. Now, uh, the shortcut to run, guys, is shift plus F10. And then, uh, guys, you can see here uh, at the terminal, you can see that uh, it, it has displayed this uh, date. Basically, today is on 18th, uh, the, uh, July 18th, 2022. And the, the time is 12.05. Uh, That's the current time. And then... Uh, we have some second and a milliseconds there. So basically, guys, uh, this is how you can do it. This is how you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, display the current date. Now let's talk about uh, the date output. Now when uh, when we execute the code from the uh, example like uh, this one, uh, uh, the above result will be uh, this one, guys, uh, of which I've shown you this uh, result. And then, uh, guys, uh, the date contains year, the month day hour a minute second and a microsecond basically this is the um this is the year a month uh, this is the day this is the uh, hour this is the minute a second and a millis uh, you know a uh, microsecond microsecond so guys uh, basically uh, this is how you can uh, this is how it does display that uh, current date time. Now uh, the date time module has uh, many methods to return information about uh, you know the date object. You know uh, and I guess uh, perhaps I'm gonna give you a, a few example which you learn uh, more about them later in this uh, in this uh, uh, class in this video uh, or uh, rather in the website. You we have this uh, course on our website. But then uh, let's um, try to return the year and uh, the name uh, or you know weekday. Remember, guys, I said that uh, you can uh, uh, it can have you know a uh, several uh, you know date object. So now I want us to do this. Let me uh, uh, use a uh, perhaps. Let me say print. Uh, basically, let me say year dot year dot year. Now so that I may print the year. Also, guys, uh, perhaps let me say print. Uh, print what? Print uh, x uh, x dot uh, string. Basically, let me uh, let me say um, strf time, and then uh, guys, uh, let me give it what? Let me give it um, and this one is a, is a, is a string, so it should be in this uh, quotation mark, 
and this quotation mark and then a percentage percentage and then a, a, a percentage a so guys uh, let me click on shift plus uh shift plus what shift plus 18 and then i uh, guess you can see that uh, it does print the uh, you know the year and then uh, also uh, the month so basically this is a string i said that uh, it will be uh, you know uh, print the you know these are uh, the string here now basically guys uh, this is how you can uh, play around the, with the you know these are uh, method date time method now let's talk about uh, creating the date object now to create a date we can use the date time uh, class you know constructor or sometimes called uh, the constructor of the date time module now uh, the date time class requires three parameters to create a date that is the year the month and uh, the uh, the what uh, the day so guys uh, perhaps let me uh, write for you um, guys uh, and uh, you can join me to write so that you may again uh, so that you may understand better so let me say import and date time basically as a building the uh, you know module in python then i uh, x and uh, then uh, let me assign it to date time and dot uh, date time uh, date time and then uh, uh into brackets now i want us to display perhaps um today is uh 20 this year is 2022 uh comma um, i remember it's an integer and then a uh, fifth uh of um basically this today is uh, on is on seventh right uh, actually the month of month of uh, july right and then uh, the date is 18 i guess so basically guys uh, what i'm gonna do now is to pass let me try to um to do this let me click on the print uh, print a uh, print uh, x print uh, x so shift plus uh, f10 and then i uh, guess you can see that uh, it does display this at uh, the current date so basically you have just uh, created this uh you know uh, date object so basically this uh, you can simply create what uh, these are uh, uh, you know date object and i uh, guess you will realize that uh, it requires three parameters that is the year uh, this the year uh, the year month and also the uh, the day and so guys are uh, now uh, the date time class also takes uh, parameters from uh, for time and uh, time zone that is hour minute second microsecond uh, you know time zone i uh, you know but uh, they are you know they are optional it has a default value of zero i know none for you know uh, for time zone time zone but then i guess uh, let's talk about this uh, strf uh, time method so basically the date time object has a method for formatting date object uh, into uh, readable strings and uh, basically this method is called the strf uh, time that is string time uh, that is strf time method and that takes uh, one parameter you know format to, to display what to specify the format and uh, return the, uh, the 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 string and i guess uh, perhaps let me show you again though uh, i'm just uh, repeating myself but then uh, it's important for someone so let me say date time uh, date time and then uh, here let me say uh, x and then i assign it to a uh, date time a uh, date time dot a uh, date time and uh, date time and then it was which year it was 2022 remember it's an integer 2022 the month of um uh july uh date is uh, on 18th now uh what i do or uh basically yeah what i do now let me say print i uh, print now and that uh, and then i want us to use that method here so let me say uh, x uh, dot uh, s strf time uh, strf time uh, then um, let me say what uh, sorry uh, so, uh, it should be here so let me say the string so I want us to, to display a string here so let me include this uh, percentage uh, this quotation marks then a percentage uh, b so what I do, uh, let me say what now the B stand for these are the second item there. But then uh, let me click on the shift plus um, shift plus uh, F10, and then I guess you can see that uh, it is um, July. So basically, guys, you can see that it is very very uh, you know 
Ah, uh, very very uh, good, very important. Now, um, so what I do, let me try to talk about these uh, stuffs here that you can see that uh, we have B, uh, initially it was A, something here. Let me talk about these, uh, you know, uh, this reference of all the legal format uh, codes. Now, the A, uh, A, 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 A actually display the weekly, uh, you know, short version, like, uh, you know, word and uh, so forth. Then uh, this uh, capital A, the capital A that we used uh, previously, uh, display the weekly full version. A weekly full version like a uh, Wednesday or uh, like a uh, Monday. But then uh, a small a display just like a uh, M-O-N for Monday, short form of, you know, a weekly uh, version. And then a uh, W displays, you know, a uh, weekday as a, uh, as a, uh, you know, as, as a number like uh, zero, three, uh, you know, and so forth like it's sunday zero is sunday and so forth and then um uh, also the d uh, the uh, you know stand for display the day of the month like uh like uh zero one or uh, zero one of uh you know or uh, the month is something like uh, let me say july that first of july or uh, 29th of july and so forth now b a small b display the month a name short version B like uh, if we use B small B here, or uh, by the other case, uh, the good thing is to use this, uh, you know, to use this uh, for me for you to understand. Let me just uh, write it again. So for B, click on Shift plus F10, uh, Shift plus F10, and then I guess you can see that it, it displayed the short form version of uh, you know the month, and then uh, now the capital B, I guess you realize that it was July, you know, the full version, and then also we have uh, M. I display the month as a as a as a number like uh, from zero one to twelve. Le let me say, um, let me just write uh, m small m shift plus f ten, and then I guess you can see that we have uh, this a uh, month, and then also year uh, I display what you know the year short version without the century. Now let me say, for example, let me say um y, then I uh, shift plus f ten. You can see it is uh, 2022 without the, the the century. Now just the second, uh, the you know the other two numbers there, and then uh, the this, this capital Y display the full year like uh, shift plus F10. You can see that it is 2022, and then a small Y display this just uh, this uh, 2022 without uh, that century, and then a uh, H, uh, basically H uh, displays the hour, uh, you know the hour. Uh, like a uh, zero to twenty three hours, and then a uh, minute uh, m display minute zero to fifty nine minutes. Remember zero is the same as CGC, so it does uh, reach to I uh, you know fifty nine. Then a uh, second display seconds zero to fifty nine zero zero to fifty nine microsecond uh, has you know uh, at least six uh, digits microseconds, and then a uh, time zone. Uh, I displays the uh, UTC offset. And then also uh, Z now display the time zone uh, CTST, and then uh, J displays uh, the number of uh, the day number of the year, like a uh, uh, zero zero one to zero three six, actually to three six six, and uh, so forth. Guys, you are going to find these stuffs on my uh, website. But then uh, I want to end this video here, and I guess guys you gain something. So uh, if you find that uh, the video has been of help to you, please take a second, subscribe, like and uh, share this video to your friends. Until next time, this is Nehemiah.